Welcome to another episode of Tongue Insider, where we find the inside stories of Singaporean artists and Singaporean musicians. Coming to you from the Singapore Chinese Cultural Centre Auditorium, and we're so honoured to have with us here today, Evelyn Lee. Evelyn is a music therapist and she's the founder of Prospect Music Therapy. She's also the immediate past president of the Association of Music Therapy Singapore. Very tuan! Mm. Stay tuned as we chat with her and find out more about music therapy. Evelyn, Hi, welcome Evelyn. to Tongue Insider Season 2 in this beautiful set Hello, in the everyone. Singapore Chinese Culture Center Auditorium. Very honoured to have you with us. Thank you. You are a music therapist and you were the immediate past president of the Association of Music Therapy Singapore as mm -hmm. well. For all of you viewers out there, if you do <laughs> not know or have not even heard of this, music therapy, this is the place where you want to be at. Mm, mm. Yeah. So I believe for a lot of people, this could be the very first time they are hearing something like music therapy. So what exactly is music therapy? Music therapy is uh, an allied health profession mm -hmm. where we use musical experiences to achieve functional uh, goals. So for oh. instance, when we are playing a drum, um, as a music teacher, you might be looking at how uh, you are able to play in the rhythmic beat and how it relates to your competence in playing a musical piece. Mm -hmm. But as a music therapist, we are looking at hand-eye coordination, mm -hmm. um, about uh, your ability to endure standing up and playing and mm. then are you able to have divided attention such as uh, singing and playing mm. or are you able to um, you know hold the instruments in a certain way uh, you know whether it's to just flex your wrist mm. for instance so there are many other ways that we look we break down a musical experience into how we can fit into functional goals. Is this considered psycho psychomotor skills where oh. music actually helps you with that? Uh, not exactly psychomotor skills. So I think it's more of neurological, mm. neurological basis. Mm. So because music has the innate ability to also uh, influence our gait, for mm. instance, the pace that we walk. And mm. sometimes it's even involuntary. Like when we are in a club and then we are listening to music, mm. uh, our heartbeat actually sings to the beat mm. of the music. That's right, that's you know, right. You, yes, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes when you go shopping also, they play the music faster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you're, you know, fast-moving consumer goods, you know. Yes, yes. And yeah. I mean, we all know we are musicians and we, we listen to music all the time, mm -hmm. we play music all the time. There's this just so powerful thing about music that can help us relax, mm. that can do so many things for Absolutely. us, right? Yes. And then what do you think in layman terms, right? Uh, what are the benefits of music therapy? for people. I what, think what music therapy taps into our inner musical child. So mm. at birth, you know, we have the heartbeat and train to ourselves. Mm. And then we grow up learning a lot of academic core skills through songs, right? Mm -hmm. Through um, rhymes, uh, through poems, uh, through repetition. Mm. And then uh, people often think that music is just something uh, for recreation. Mm. But without music, a lot of things cannot happen. For mm. instance, uh, to rally your troops mm. in times of, um, you know, like army marching, I think everybody yeah. sings and they march. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And there are songs, right, to reduce fatigue, mm. reduce um, boredom, to in increase mm. endurance. And so music is something that is around us and music therapy can tap into all of mm. that, mm. Uh, our association with music. So tell us more, right? Music therapy, this isn't the most conventional career path. Mm -hmm. What was your original story in becoming a music therapist? Mm. Actually, this is interesting because uh, this is my first time actually sharing this with anyone. Uh, but actually, I was trained as an accountant mm. earlier. Um, and then I realised that, you know, there was, it was a part of me that I always wanted to connect with my musical self. Mm. So, uh, whether then the options were either to be a professional musician, yeah. to be a music teacher. Yeah. Uh, but then again, I always uh, liked working with the community as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I realised that music was something that helped me a lot uh, when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. uh, through difficult times and when growing up. And so, uh, I thought, maybe I should pursue music therapy. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, uh, because I sort of stopped music education at 16, which probably a lot of, uh, a lot of my peers <laughs> did as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and um, I decided to pick up music therapy and audition for the conservatory. Mm -hmm. And there was the audition. Mm -hmm. So I had to really tell myself, if I really wanted this, then I have to prepare for mm -hmm. the audition and 
you know, pick up where I left off mm -hmm. at 16. Mm -hmm. And so I worked really hard for a couple of months to prepare for the audition. Um, and then uh, I uh, got into the program, the music mm. therapy program in mm. Australia. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's and in Australia? Yeah, in Australia. Yeah, wow. So they don't have a, uh, a local program mm, at the moment. Mm, 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 yeah, mm. and then that was what happened. I wow. mean, I'm very interested to know, you know, um, how was music therapy school like? What did you learn, you know? <laughs> did you have a, was it very tough for you? So music therapy is located in the Conservatory of Music. Mm. So we all had to do performance for the first two mm. years. Mm. In short, uh, music therapy education is really uh, three main components. One is the musical performance aspect. Mm -hmm. Uh, where you learn musicology, music, mm. musicianship, history mm. and all that, and mm. composition. Uh, and then also the psychology component, where mm. you learn about um, you know, uh, pharmacology, psychopathology as mm. well. And, and then thirdly is the music therapy theory. So a lot of classes uh, revolve around improvisation. Right. Um, I think what a lot of people don't know yet, and this is Akan Datang, we have a new product <laughs> coming out. Um, Tong has actually been working with two music therapists as well as a whole entire team and we've been creating a new product uh, using binaural beats mm -hmm. as well as Tong's music. And um, we are very proud to say recently um, that we've got a, a, a go ahead with our research study. We did a study about uh, over 150 students yeah. and um, when they listen to Tung's binaural beat music in which of course you helped to create, <laughs> um, people actually felt that they had a reduction in stress and anxiety yeah. and we ran it through a lot of young uh, people, mm -hmm. I mean university students, school going children and we they responded, I mean very alarmingly mm -hmm. to me, I felt that it reduced stress and anxiety to homework. So this is a, 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 a very interesting finding. Yes, and this yes. is, well, I mean, music therapy is so large and uh, the fact that we can actually, uh, using binaural beats actually, you know, be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, to form a tool, I think it's really a, such a big fat honour for us. Um, so I'm going to ask a very uh, sort of like cheeky question here. Mm -hmm. Now that you heard the binaural beats uh, work that we've done right, would you use it on your clients? I think I would. Mm. I, th I would use it for um, a bit of a relaxation component mm. uh, for people who might want to use a tool for self-help uh, outside of music therapy sessions. Mm. Because yeah. what I think the binaural beats does is that it has shown that it is safe. Mm. So, which is what I really appreciate about the, the project uh, that Teng has done because mm. it's very scholarly which means it's not just a product that you've created and you think it works, mm. but more importantly, you've actually put it through the rigours of mm. uh, you know, a research study yeah. and, so and, and an evidence getting people... Based. Yes, yeah, evidence-based. Exactly. And yeah. that gives, as a music therapist, uh, a lot more assurance mm. to, to say that, you know, not stopping short of calling it prescribing music, mm. but to recommend certain mm. uh, resources that they can use. I think you'll be mm. glad to know, so uh, we're going to expand the music yeah. in the binaural Wonderful. beats uh, collection. And we're going to try different types of musics as well, different genres of musics and multi-racial mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. music instruments as well. Oh, certainly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and you know sometimes there are people who really underestimate uh, the benefits of music therapy in general. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on this? And maybe you can share some insights or is there any scientific evidence uh, to support uh, the wider use of music therapy. Okay, yeah. I think in terms of creative arts therapy, where it's music, dance and uh, art, I dare say that of all the three disciplines, music therapy has the most number of Cochrane reviews, mm. which is the gold standard of uh, research uh, mm. evidence. Mm. So the, the great thing about, I think the whole profession is that uh, we are very research focused and we believe that uh, in order to show people that music therapy works, we need to run it through rigorous studies as mm. well. Mm. Um, but secondly, I think people always just try music therapy and just experience it for themselves. Mm. Mm. I have a very cheeky question. <laughs> you, all, you always have I always cheeky questions. Question. Every question is I a cheeky want to, question. I want to like, you know, push <laughs> buttons. Sure. Um, so, um, you, you are obviously an accountant and then you switch yeah. to music therapy. Yeah. Obviously, you know, you like music and it's, uh, you know, like a career switch kind mm -hmm. of thing. But then, now that you are in music therapy, is this something that you really don't like, like. about it? The repertoire. 
the oh. repertoire. Why are I you think, choosing songs for I patients? I think when I feel like I, I am always using the same songs. Okay. Uh, I get bored. Oh. oh, so you wish that there's so many more, but there's a lot, right? To there from? is a lot, but we always go with people preferred music. Ah. Right? The problem with like top hits <laughs> is that everybody <laughs> likes the top hits. <laughs> and so what, what do I do to get out of that boredom is also right. um, trying to play in different ways. Right. So play in 3 4 4 4, play in the bossa nova style, mm, for instance. Yeah. And, mm. and also, so instead of like thinking about like what you not like about it, right? Mm. Then what's the most, you know, joyful thing for you, oh, what you when it comes to work every day? What do you love yeah. most about working uh, in, as a music therapist? I think the most satisfying thing of all is to be able to um, go into people's lives. And when we talk about in, in, in Singapore, for my work, I work along uh, with a lot of families. Mm. So home-based work mm. where I not only engage the, the patient, mm. but also the whole family. Mm. And what I realise is that, you know, you have a glimpse of people experiencing music and reconnecting with music experiences. Mm. And some of these families may, um, you know, may have everything already because, uh, you know, they're very well taken care of. But then you realize that, you know, music experiences and letting them find meaning in songs mm -hmm. and what it means to them uh, is something that, you know, I feel I'm very privileged to work with, uh, you know, some of my patients and, uh, you know, to guide them to have such realizations. Yeah, and the process is very rewarding right. as yes. well, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, do you have any new projects yeah. that you would like to share with our audience? Anything upcoming at all? Yeah. Any? Yes. Uh, so, my latest passion project is. Um, working on guided imagery and music. Mm. So something that's really exciting is that uh, I'll be facilitating guided imagery sessions uh, for some of our frontliners mm. in one of the local healthcare institutions. Mm. And it's really nice because uh, it also shows that the, the public healthcare system is starting to recognise and mm. appreciate music mm. therapy as a discipline mm. and using it as a tool for self-help which I feel like, you know, it's a way of giving back as well. Right. Okay. You know, as a Teng guest for Teng Insider, we <laughs> always ask our guests to perform something. Yes. <laughs> we don't let our guests off very easily. <laughs> what have you prepared for us today? I've prepared a good old favourite of um, a lot of my clients. So this is dedicated to all of you and all of them. Um, Xiao Bai Chuan. Oh, which was one of our first MV. <laughs> Have you seen has our a, tongues? Mm. Tongue has a cell phone. No, I haven't. Oh, really? It was shared by the Prime Minister oh. at the period of time. Oh. I watched many of those um, medleys, like the princesses of Disney. Oh, the one. Disney princess medley. <laughs> I'll tell you a secret, you know, when okay. I was filming the Xiao Bai Tuan, mm -hmm. on the day of the filming, I fainted. What? Really? <laughs> and it's too stressed with work. I, then after that, <laughs> I had to pull myself up and, and just really, you know, fake it till you make it. Like, oh, you should, you must watch that, yes, that, yes. that music video. It was my labour of love, I tell you. <laughs> okay, without, okay, without, without further ado, Xiao Bai Tuan. Lily.
absolutely beautiful as usual. I feel that it's brought so much calm into <laughs> this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Our tranquility, right. our peacefulness. That's right. Yeah, all positive thoughts. Thank you so much. So the next segment is a game segment that we have for uh, Evelyn. And um, you know recently there's this viral TikTok music therapy game. <laughs> and so our producers had this wise idea to think that maybe they could actually test us with it. Sure. And the challenge is to get you to hit stakes according to the rhythm given by the producers. Okay. So we're playing a track and then you're supposed to hit your, the rhythm together. And Samuel will compete with you and I'll be the judge. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are totally side reading this, okay? <laughs> yeah. So we've never prepared for this, okay? Okay, Samuel, you should go okay, first. Try you're the host, you should go first. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's try. Not bad. But I can see you're very nervous there. Eh? No, because I couldn't really see. No, but your person always like. <laughs> no, because, yeah, because I couldn't really. I, it was you no know, the glaring light. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your spotlight. It was, oh my gosh. That I shall reserve judgment until the end of both. Ha ha ha. Players. Okay, uh, Lynn. Okay. Sticks for you. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is every active musician's secret skill, you know. Yes. Sight reading, lah. Like. They are all really sight reading, yeah. <laughs> including me. Okay, are we ready? Hit it. Time you are tested. <laughs> All the time. Oh, but this is uh, this is easier than music therapy school. Actually, both really? of them did fairly well, mm. but of course we are the host. So the winner is Evelyn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll give you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Well, with that, we've come to the end of today's Tongue Insider. Thank you so much for coming, for sharing with us um, the profession of music therapy. And it's really, really great insights. And I'm sure our audiences out there are really inspired by listening to what thank you, you say Thank you for today. the opportunity. Yes, it's very inspiring what you've actually shared with us. Mm -hmm. We hope there will be more music therapists in Singapore. And music therapy as uh, a subject and as a uh, work will actually be proliferated around all Singapore as well. Right. If you like our content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. See you again next time. Bye! Bye.